Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am actually going to be doing the Ride or Die tag. So what this is, it's more, um, what your Ride or Die makeup products are. Like if you were on a, stuck in a desert island, what would you take? Things like that. So I picked my products and they were kind of difficult, but I picked them out. So let's go ahead and get started. So we are going to start with primer and I pick the professional by benefit I think this is a very good primer it um okay it says here it minimizes the appearance of pores and that's exactly what it does and this primer kind of makes my skin look matte so this is what I like about this primer I'm not wearing it right now but this is a very good primer and I love it it's around the price side but um I'm very good. So for foundation, I chose. I have a lot of foundations, and I was like, "Crap, what do I get?" But then I chose the Born This Way foundations. Um, I have the shade Golden and Natural Beige. This is not my color, and this one is my color. <laughs> um, what's it called? I feel like I know how this product works, so that is why I went towards it because I feel like um, the Milani one I have it oxidizes so I wouldn't want to be like doing a dark foundation and then for it to oxidize and then be darker or go lighter so I feel like this one doesn't oxidize so it is very good and then it's oil free so it like is perfect for my oily skin <laughs> so for concealer I was like oh I have a high end and a lot of drugstore so I was like I didn't want to go towards the high end because I'm like no because I don't like the way it usually works on my face sometimes and it, it looks so dramatic so I of course picked the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in the shade light there's I also have the shade sand man this concealer is the best concealer I have ever tried it is so good and it's super affordable like super I'm actually wearing it right now but it is so good. Now for setting the under eye, I have two translucent powders. I have the Estee Lauder and the Airspun. So I was like, this is what I'm choosing. I have a little bit of it. But I mean, I love this powder. It like doesn't give flashback as much as other ones do. And it is very, very good. It's very cheap. It's super affordable. It's about $7. Um... And I love it. It's, it's super good. And it works for all types of skin. For bronzer, um, I've had this one for a little while. But I noticed that I reach out for it more than other bronzers. So this is the Wet n Wild Bikini Contest Bronzer. It is actually shattered. My niece shattered it. Can you see that? Ooh, oh crap. It is a really big pan. Let's see, does it say it's 0.46 ounces, but it's very big pan. It lasts a long time unless you don't shatter it. I hit pan on it super quick because I use it a lot. But um, I guess it's uh, this is more for medium skin tones, light to medium skin tones, because it gives it such a, a bronzy finish, and there's a darker and then there's a lighter for different skin types. But I picked up this one for my skin tone. Okay. So for blush, I did pick the Laura Geller um, blush in pink grapefruit. So this is what it looks like. I really, really like this blush. Can y'all see that? Not really. My best friend messaged me. But, um, no. Okay, I'm not bronzer. Bronzer, I mean blush. Um, I like it. I don't use it often because I forgot about it. But it is such a good blush is perfect for my skin tone and for just a little brightening up ish so it's very good and I love it a lot so so for highlight um I did pick this one this is dripping in gold by the Anastasia glow kit in that glow this is such a beautiful highlight like beautiful I love it. Look at that. Where is it? That one right there. Do you see? Super pretty. 
that's the one I'm wearing. Um, I tend to go to this one a lot more because it's more even skin tone, more for my skin tone. And also golden bronze, but that gives more like a tan. And I only use that whenever I'm out in the sun, I'm not going to go out, things like that. But this dripping in gold is more what I love. So that's why I picked it. And you're probably like, I'm surprised you didn't pick them all together. I'm surprised either, but it's not bright enough. And I love brights. <laughs> so for an eyeshadow palette, I did have this one for a while. Again, these products I did have for a while, but I tend to pick up more than my other ones. But this one is my very handy and dandy. This is a Tarte and Tartlet and Boom palette. This is my only product I have product I have from Tarte Cosmetics, and it's my favorite. First of all, the smell. Mm, it's like chocolate, like in your chocolate place. I can imagine how the Too Faced smells. I haven't smelled that one, but I know it smells good. I picked this because you can do many, many looks with this. You can do a neutral look. I actually did something on my eye with this palette. You can do a smoky look. I always say this with when I talk about this palette. Um, it is very useful. It is very handy. It, sorry for that. I just ate. <laughs> um, but it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just so good. It is on the pricey side. It is worth every penny. For eyeliner, I was hard picking this choice, but I picked it. This is the Marc Jacobs. Wait. Highliner Gel Crayon. This is the mini size. This is not the full size product. Um, the full size is like a little bit bigger, but I don't have the full size. I got this for free for my birthday. But it is so good. It is like super light on. I expect expect it to be like other pencil eyeliners, not pencil, but gel eyeliners. It transfers things like that. But this is so good like it doesn't move it is waterproof things like that it, it's really good I remember when was it I think when my something happened this month and I was crying and crying and crying and it did not move and I'm like I'm impressed so I don't do my eyebrows much on screen but I started doing my eyebrows more often now but this is what I like. It is affordable. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in the shade Dark Brunette. So it does come with the spoolie in the back. And then it comes with the product in the front. This is a, such a good product. It is super pigmented. Um, I don't, haven't tried the Anastasia. I swatched it on my hand but never on my eyebrows. But it is so good. I recommend it if you're looking for a um, product real on the go and super cheap. It's about $7. Super good. You get a lot of products out of it. I used to use the e.l.f. one, but it kept breaking. I was like on my third one already and it kept breaking and breaking. And I was just like, it's not meant to be. <laughs> so yeah. It's so good. for mascara, I have a lot of mascaras. And I end up going to my favorite. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic. Um mascara I haven't used it in a long while because I need a new one but look at the little brush it is so good it doesn't make them clumpy it doesn't it's just perfect especially if you have little lashes it makes them long and long <laughs> and for long lashes I think it makes them good enough for an everyday wear sometimes I was like I don't even have to use fake lashes like I'm not gonna stop and this made my lashes super long, so I really like this mascara. It's very cheap, not cheap, seven dollars, but very good. Um, I compare this to a lot of I like drugstore mascaras more than higher end, but the Tartist Tart Tartist mascara, something like that. I like that one. I love it, but I lost. It. So for the last product, I know I'm probably like, when is she gonna end? But this is the L'Oreal Infallible, 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 Infallible Never Fall, Fail Lip Liner. So this is in the shade Red Wine. I love that red wine. Look at it. Reminds me of Karen Underwood. But I really like it. It is this color. It's a dark, 
Honey, it's not red. Can you all see that in this chicken? Right there. It's more of like a dark fuchsia pink. Like that. I really like it. And I've used this. And this is actually what I'm wearing at the moment. And then I did pair it with this. This is um, Kylie Jenner's um, lip stick in Coco K. I mean, it's good. This is what I'm actually wearing at the moment. It is so good. It makes it like a different lip color. I have mixed the three shades I have of Kylie's lip kits. And it makes it such a pretty color. I think I want to do that for a tutorial or something. But I like this lip color. It's my go-to lately. And this lipstick is super good. It doesn't bleed or anything. And this lip, lip line reminds me of the Kylie's. It's super glad. It glides on super good. And it's super good. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. So I want you guys to do it. If you guys have a channel. And go do this tag. I really, really like it. And I'm going to link down Jacqueline Hills down below. So you guys can go check it out. Hers is very good. And she's not like me. I'm very still in my comfort getting out of my comfort zone but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um sorry for not uploading lately i've had a hard month of family so hard but you know um, i got past it but um school i'm supposed to be in school right now it's the first day of school but i haven't registered yet so i'm waiting for my mom to wake up so we can go register i will also like if you told me i wouldn't have woken up at six in the morning <laughs> But I'm fine. I can film a few videos. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs it up if you like them. Comment, subs I mean, subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video.